If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn Artillery series. In this episode, we are going to see how you can debug your artillery test script. Debugging helps you to validate your request response so that you can make sure you are testing the right things. To enable the debug flag, you can use the variable using debug equals and then you have to enter the command. So this command is valid for the Linux and Mac operating system. For Windows, you have to set the variable debug equals HTTP and you can run artillery run and your test file. This will display the debugging information. In case of PowerShell, you need to use $env variable colon on the debug variable equals HTTP and then you can run the artillery run then your YAML file. Suppose if you want to see only the HTTP request details, you can mention debug equals HTTP colon request and the command. So this will display only the request URL. Suppose if you want to display the response only, then you have to switch this flag to HTTP colon response. Suppose in case if you want to add both to your debugging, then you can use HTTP colon request comma HTTP colon response. And also you can use the regular expression HTTP wildcard symbol. So this will also equivalent of HTTP request and HTTP response. Now let us see a quick demo how we can do debugging in artillery. In our last example, we have seen how to extract the information from one request and how to pass it in the subsequent request. In this example, we are using two calls. One is the post call where we are creating the wet which will extract the ID and then it will pass it in the second request. If you are not sure about how correlation works, please see my previous video. Now let us see using debugging, we can validate whether it is working fine or not. First, let us begin displaying the HTTP request details. Just enter debug equals HTTP colon request and the artillery run command and hit enter. So this will display the request URL for both the requests. So here, as you see, the first request is slash API uh, slash vets and second one is petclinic slash API slash vets slash one. So this one is coming from the previous request because we are using the capture method to extract the information. So this is how you can display the request details while debugging. But what about the response? Now let me clear my screen and let us change the flag to response here and hit enter. Now this will display the response for each HTTP request. As you see here, it is displaying the HTTP response for both the calls. And here you can make sure whether you are expecting the right thing for your request. So this is how you display the HTTP response details for your artillery test. Now let me add both request and response. Let me clear my screen. And here we are going to use the wildcard character. So basically this will display both request and response. Just hit enter and let me uh, scroll up here. And here as you see, it is displaying both request details and also the response for the particular request. So this is our request and this is our response. So this is how you make sure your HTTP request and response working fine as expected. Otherwise, you might be testing something else which you don't want. So debugging helps you to validate the right thing for your REST API. That's the case on my side. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and thank you for watching. Have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.